What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be creating a grainy black and white high fashion photo effect that you can apply to your images and this is how it's going to look. Uh, and you may notice that I'm using an owl and it's an HD. Speaking of HD images, you guys can download uh, free images from a awesome website called Graphic Stock. It's an affordable subscri subscription based stock graphics site that gives you unlimited access to graphics, vectors and icons. So you guys can download a lot of stuff from there that you could use on Illustrator and Photoshop or InDesign or whatever you want in that case. Um, you will have access to unlimited downloads over like 250,000 graphics and everything will be 100% royalty free and you guys can start a 7 day free trial and I will have that link in the description so you guys can try it out and you guys can download up to 140 graphics from their library during the trial so that's a cool thing and um, I really suggest you guys check them out uh, because they post a lot of royalty free photos so let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial this is how the image is going to look after here is the before and the after so you guys can see the normal black and white and then you can see uh, with with the photo further enhanced this is how it's going to look and it looks really awesome so i'm going to show you guys how to do it the first thing you want to go ahead and do is we want to make sure our background is not locked so double click on our layer and give it a name i'm going to name it owl click ok and then your layer should now be able to you should be able to move your around your layer so it's not locked anymore so once we've done that we're going to go ahead and create a black and white levels or a black and white adjustment layer so go over to layer and then go over to new adjustment layer and then go to black and white so now we can give it a name I'm gonna just click OK and then where it says preset go and select darker what this will do is it will, it will make the uh, whites a little bit darker so we'll just increase the contrast a little bit so once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, a levels adjustment layer so same thing go over to layer go over to new adjustment layer and go to levels give it a name I'm gonna click OK for just levels one and then right here below the little graph you're gonna see a little bar uh, it's gonna have a black triangle and a white triangle select the black triangle and move it towards the center to around 40 uh, on our output levels and this will just um, make our image a little bit brighter but still keeping the image dark at the same time so once we've done that we're going to go ahead and create a new layer so go over to layer new and then layer or you can just simply click this little button right here you can give it give it a name first i'm gonna name it film grain and this will we will add our grain to this so this is how we do the grain mode we're going to go ahead and select overlay and then the opacity we're going to change that to 50 percent so i want that exactly at 50 percent click ok and then we're going to fill that with gray and the hex code is going to be 6C6C6C and click OK. And then we're going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, press Delete, and uh, it should fill it with gray, as you can see right here. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and convert it to a smart object. So right click and go over to Convert to Smart Object. So once we have done uh, that, we go ahead and add a noise. So go over to filter, go to noise, and then add noise. So the amount, we're going to change that to 15%, the distribution uniform, and we're going to have monochromatic checked. Click OK, and we're good with that. But you can see that Photoshop kind of it, uh, added it too strong. The effect is too strong. So we're going to go over to filter, we're going to go over to blur, and we're going to add a blur, a Gaussian blur. Select Gaussian Blur and a new window is going to pop up. For the radius, I put in 0 0.5. And just click OK. And it will blur the effect a little bit so it doesn't really take off the effect of the grain. So once we've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and add a Curves Adjustment Layer. So go over to Layer, go to New Adjustment Layer, and go over to Curves. Click OK. And we're right here where it says RGB, just select Red. Right in the middle of our axis, right here, just click and drag it up just a little bit, not too much, so right here is good. Click it again where it says red and select blue. Click in the middle and drag it downwards just a little bit, and this will add a sepia effect, and this looks really, really cool. 
And once we're done that, our final step is to decrease the opacity. So go where it says opacity, and we're gonna decrease that to 80%. So click on the down arrow and go to 80%. And now you will have this awesome grainy effect that you could apply to your images. So here is our uh, before, and then the black and white, and then further tuned or further enhanced is our black and white grainy effect. You could apply to your portraits or your close-up shots. And yeah, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. I uh, hope you guys learned something and comment below if you want a, a video suggestion and leave a rating below. And that shows me that you guys want more tutorials in the future. I'll post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until then, stay classy. Peace out.